Hello and welcome back to another feature presentation. This time we will be teaching you how truss bridges work. Now to our correspondent Spencer in the field. Thank you, Scott. Now I'm here at Dublin Kaufman to tell everyone about how trusses work. And I'm here and I interviewed some people and asked them about their bridges. Let's go meet them. So I'm here with Mr. Almendinger, the Commissioner of the World Bridge Building Championships. And tell me, what is this project all about? Like, what are we doing? Well, this project, the students are using popsicle sticks as well as white Elmer's glue to build a mock bridge, a scale bridge. And then we are going to hang weights from that bridge to see how much they can hold before it collapses. And the goal is to kind of get them used to the forces that are applied to bridges and then how those support cars as they go across. So it's kind of to scale down an actual bridge and, and have them think about real life physics and forces in a smaller setting. Thank you. Scott, back to you. Now that we know what the project's all about, let's see what the contestants are up to. I'm here with Saj. So, tell me, how does this bridge work? Well, you put weight on it through this top part and then it hangs down. <laughs> And then the trust forces on the bridge keep it up because our bridge is awesome. So, how come you came up with this design for the bridge? Well, we decided that a lot of bridges had triangles on them, so we made a bunch of triangles and put them all together and made a bridge. And it's a bridge. And it has triangles. How much weight do you think it's going to hold before it breaks here? Probably like a bunch. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here back at Dublin Coffin talking to Sean about his bridge. So, tell me, Sean. How come it looks so much more different than the other bridges? Well, we decided to take a different approach here, putting the actual road about here so we can have an under and over truss rather than just a single over truss like all the other groups have been. Why do you think yours is going to win? Well, this double hump here really just gives it more rigidity, we feel it will, and just we have a backup on the top and on in case things go wrong. So. How much do you think it's going to hold before it breaks? I'm thinking about 600 pounds, which I mean, it's way more than a bunch. All right, great. So I'm here with Philly Fresh. And tell me, Philly, how come your bridge is so colorful? Because color is bad. Great. <laughs> do you think it's going to be an asset, or do you think it's going to hurt you in the long run to add the color to it? I think it has swag. <laughs> How much do you think your bridge is going to hold before it collapses? Um. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you, Scott. Okay, now that we know what each of the bridges looks like, we go to the World Bridge Building Competition to see how each contestant fares with their bridge being tested under load. saw that bridge didn't withstand much force, breaking at only 35 pounds. Let's see what the science is behind that. A truss bridge works by distributing the force that is applied to it, such as the truck in this situation, across the entire truss system. So instead of one beam like older bridges, it uses two connected by the truss members. This allows the force to be distributed throughout the entire truss system across the triangles, meaning that it's less likely to break compared to a single beam like older bridges. As shown in the animation, the different members of a truss system can be under compression or tension, red and blue respectively, in the animation. When a truss is under tension, it's being pulled and compression needs to be pushed together. Now different materials can handle these two forces differently, which allow truss bridges to be very versatile in how they handle the forces applied to them. So now we know how the bridges work, let's see some more successful ones. That's enough for our program this evening. We hope you learned a lot about trust forces and bridges, and now for our segment on nature. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to design. 
This is where young engineers from Metro, Dublin Kaufman, and Dublin Jerome Give my shoe! Come to take my clip while fighting over a shoe. This is a very wild place here in the workshop. One takes great caution while treading this terrain. Over here we can see a wild Sean Manley attempting to get his shoe back. He has managed to get it, but Emily, the vicious predator in this situation, is attempting to steal it back and makes it a successful attempt. Back to you, Scott.